and welcome back to Dunga Room, but get happy supper. Big fun to my brother. Oh, this time you didn't name me the Angel of Death. Yes. And I actually might have forgotten to say in the last one, and perhaps even the one before that, the Nordic play. <laughs> well, too but, bad. I mean, too late. if you have found us here, then you know who we are. Or the... I hope. Uh, yeah. I hope. We're on to continue with Mondo, how could you, trial. Yes. Mondo, how could you? And That's are... actually a thing now. And apparently we still require some evidence, even though Saka is being just asked for his pro. Bro, bro. Bro. Well, we have just displayed how it could have gone. But yeah. Oh, he's in denial. And I mean, it's fair. We need some proof. So, Mondo, please open your e, e handbook. Yeah. Do show whose name it has. Yeah. Well, you can just ask him to display his. Show yeah. whose name is in it. Please, it's that easy. We don't need to display where Mondos is, we just need to display that he doesn't have his own. Just have to know his handbook here. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear! Oh my. Fun! Fever time and nega time, what? Nega. Valley. If you press the Valley key! Force to the its max? What? You probably feel like Mondo at this point. <laughs> Look on his face, he's like, no! At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. What? <laughs> That's not fair. Oh dear. Good no! luck. <laughs> Why, oh, game? Good Why? Luck. <laughs> of course, I'm going I feel to. Like Mondo right now. Of course, you I'm going to. You feel like that. Of course I'm going to activate my fever time during the nega time, because then I can just hammer down the buttons. Well now. Have fun! Fun! Now do you remember how this worked? Oh, it's against him! Shoko testu shiro! Sonna hazunai! ないぞ。認知できん。無礼儀だ。証拠提出しろ。聞かないぞ。無礼儀だ。お票反対。証拠提出しろ。そんなはずない。聞かないぞ。認知できん。無礼儀だ。聞かないぞ。無礼儀だな。空気が乱れる。お票反対。やべ。認知できん。無礼儀だな。空気が乱れる。証拠で証明するよ。ほう。イエーイ。I <笑> I, I actually didn't even read anything that was said on the screen. I just kept on clicking. Uh, I noticed that I just turned the volume down. So, oh my god, my ears hurt so much. 
壊れた自分の電子生徒手帳を桑田君のものと交換してるはずなんだ,だここでみんなの手帳を確認し合わない Which you could have done earlier on already. Yeah, this has、Just、been mentioned、say. quite a lot during this trial. So, s e r a Are you going to admit? This probably kind of came out clean. Yeah, because it wasn't a murder, it was an accident. But why was it an accident? That we want to know. Yeah, I want to know what went down, what happened. Yeah. What aggravated him? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Mondo, how could you? Do how could you? Hey. Noise. Noise. What are you doing, bro? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of. Oh, you are not going to say it's kind of. It's kind of you know, sad that he didn't have an epic. Short circuit and meltdown like poor stupid ginger boy did, but.、Mm. Oh, but how could we, you? We wanna know! Tohyo time, the Azoyo. Nagat! 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 Yeah. Are you going Sorry, to... Taka, you're going to lose your boyfriend. Are you going to have a meltdown? Oh. Aho! 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 Let's give Monokuma. Oh dear, oh dear. Mondo, how could you? Mondo, how could you? Why? Why? Nanto! Yeah. Yeah, yeah! Oh, what? Balls! It took me this long to notice that he wasn't actually speaking them. Well, matter. Oh, I get to do Monokuma! Yes! In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous! Kyotoka chose the wrong answer! What did he do? Vote for himself? Yeah. Like, seriously. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. Even if it was your pro. No. I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he could kill someone. Sumani. What? What? Why are you apologizing? Why? 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 <laughs> Why did you do it? No. Oh, okay, okay. 
you well, do? Well, it's not like Mondo said. Yep. Not reading them. No! Not reading them. No. Just keep on skipping past them. <laughs> The story of the man at this time is the sad story of two men. Boo boo boo! Love story! Are you listening to me, Genocide Jill? Let's get ready for some yoy! Yay! Ha! Oh, but for anyone who doesn't want to hear it, you can hit the control key to best fall by the text. No! Control keep. Anyway, there was once a young boy. Okay. And his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. Yeah. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. And height and body size and weapon. Yeah. So weak, even though you're a boy. He did things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. Well, if he's just physically small, what can he do? Yeah. It's just genetics. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. Well, that's not helping. I mean, he can't help being really short and scrawny. Yeah. He can't really help it. And I mean... There is other kinds of strength than just physical strength. I mean, he was hella smart. Yeah. Take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. Chosen that as his way out. Oh! But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in the shell, inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. That can happen. Happens quite a lot, even. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. He was too tiny to fit even in his own shell. Tragic. The complex didn't disappear. You said it only grew stronger and stronger. Weak! So that's your aho uh aho -huh, aho uh aho. -huh, uh -huh. Apparently, it's not that convincing as Leon's was. No, no, it was it was kind of uh, weak. Indeed. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Once killing Gabe had begun here at school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, well, the survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. Well, Mondo's not about to survive, and he was hella strong. He was hella strong, yeah. <laughs> then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Yeah, that was about him being a boy. Yeah. yeah. And Makoto being his bed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he his bed. Which, of course, included Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which was more than willing to divulge. Because I'm an asshole! Ass hat. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. <laughs> boop boop! I know, ne! That was 
something she and I couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. Oh, that's what he said, that he might be able to tell his secret once he's stronger. <laughs> Did she actually try to go against Mondo? I don't think... I don't think either, but... Was it? <laughs> Monokuma he's is phrasing that like that. I don't think that's it. No, 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 it's definitely no, no. Be suicide to anyone. I'll say Posakura. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack. The armor would fall away. Poetic. Out of doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. No. I don't no. think these people would have done that. None of them. Say for Celeste, maybe because she's mean or Piaquia because he's I mean, a psycho. Piaquia possibly. Toko definitely, but none of the others. I mean Celeste maybe because she was she's mean. Yeah, but I mean she wouldn't she would only use it when she was mad at would be mad at Zio. <laughs> but I mean nobody else would yeah, play him. Yeah. Everyone we get being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the thing. Demo. <laughs> yeah, this is why he said that. Annoyingly he used his threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. Good for you. Mm. Good for you. Okay, so he just said I uh, to have faith in myself, okay? When someone says you're a fair boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. Absolutely golden for you. Uh, sad it didn't work out that well. Mm -hmm. The working out part was kind of little. Uh, yeah. That thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And went to talk to Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> and so! He made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. Boop, boop, boop. So was it? Was it that fast? Yeah, it was twenty-four hours. Yeah. God hmm? damn it! But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. And he decided to start exercising. He thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. Oh boy. But he wanted to tell the person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. Person he went to drum roll. Taka! Oh wait, no, no, no. Ah, so Yeah. Yo ho 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 he promised Chihiro he would not tell anyone yeah. that he was actually a boy. That's why he did it. Like Kai said, he was trying to try to go that Chihiro's yeah. secret. But yeah. Hey, then, yeah. So, Chihiro probably figured that even if he conflicted the Mondo, maybe the Mondo his honor would make him keep the secret. Yeah, exactly. This is mm. the thing. So, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. 
Plus, Mr. Macha Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that she had always aspired to. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, that 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 takes Mondo, some time and dedication and genetics. Yep. So oh, dear. Talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. Because if I dare to talk to him, I dare to talk to others too. Yeah. Um, why does Chihiro's name when this is clearly Monokuma speaking? <laughs> I don't know. But because that's clearly Monokuma. Yeah. So he went and asked Monda to help him become strong. <laughs> well done, translators. <laughs> Shabong! Shabong! Oh! That was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Well, he wouldn't have been. No. <laughs> because, well. So. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Yeah, yeah like I said. Yeah. Huh? Did what? Did what he did? My god, you're stupid. That's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room. Eh. Bong. Bingo. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> oh. Wasn't that to go where I put it down? That's funny. That could have been a part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. No, it wasn't. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. Yep. Demo. <laughs> I mean, the body keep his secret. Oh my god, why are you so stupid? That then. Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room. Right? Are you so stupid you don't <laughs> understand this? Yeah. Once that started up, a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So I don't give them that much credit. No. To be no, honest. No. Maybe you, but no none of the others. He tried to plot Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See? <laughs> See it's... Then Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed. Well, I still don't think he meant to kill him, so... <coughs> Why would he do that? <coughs> the more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So, why, why, why did you? Oh, well, speak up. Because, no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. Yeah, buddy. So, that's what triggered it, after all. Wonder how could you? <laughs> Dong! The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. Mondo? That would play a part in it. Mondo what? Nato! That seemed possible! Nothing could have been that bad! Something he did didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. Still don't think he meant to kill anyone. Yep. Yeah. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, why the road the subject? Why don't I tell you? Because I'm an asshole! Boop, boop, boop. That embarrassing memory, the secret he didn't want anyone to know. Drum roll! He peed in his bed as well. <laughs> I know, ne. 
You know what Monda did? Or something really bad. Huh. Killed his own brother. Oh. Look at that. Well, actually, it's not that surprising. I somehow, it indeed. I somehow recall thinking that there was something like this to begin with. Yes, yeah, someone had killed someone. Well, Toko has killed several someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's definitely. But I mean, regarding Mondo, I I think there was some something we talked about. It wasn't on the video, sadly, so I can pack this up. But that he did some foul to his brother. There's something we talked about. Maybe him, his brother, landed in jail or something because of yeah. him. Yeah, must have been that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mondo, you can now toss Monokuma since you're about to die anyway. Mondo, the ultimate bike gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and reef from across the country tremble! Heck. But the only reason he had a chance to join again in the first place was because of a certain someone. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Manda's older brother's name was Dayovata. Yes, we know that. Yeah. Oh, he's Mondo with white clothes. <laughs> yeah. Manda had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Well done, big bro. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Mondo's wearing white too. What? Yeah. This brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. So he was kind of hoodlum as well. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imi imitated him in everything he did. All the dangerous Including stunts. Dying. The epitome of a star red kid brother. Hmm. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Nice. Oh. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother, Mondo. Well, that's kind of nice that he actually made you number two. I mean, you were mm -hmm. some tiny prat, probably. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mon does have to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday... Maybe. Others' greatness, his reputation began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. Jealous much? Be your parts as well? No, I think those are supposed to be the gang members. Can be our leader. <laughs> All that do is make the gang look bad. <laughs> Almost every day, Mondo had to gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. Which is why! Orewa. I gotta get stronger! Stronger than Daya! Once, just one time! No matter what, I gotta win! I don't care what it takes! I gotta come out of top! Of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. Oh, and uh, then there was an accident, maybe. Yeah, quite likely. But during that race, tragedy struck. Yep. Oh. 
push the heavy reckless abandon, you get the victory and dash and to oncoming traffic. Oh yeah, and the big brother saved him. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. Suddenly Stop. Drum roll. Yep, 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 yep. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. And how do you know what those were? My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. Well, he didn't have time to, you know, blame yeah. anyone. He probably died there. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's the team you and me put together. It's a, a, a promise between men. Oh, so that's the thing. He tried to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. And now Monokuma said that it would break apart because he would reveal to them that Mondo quote unquote caused Daya to die. Yep. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. Oh, well, bull. more like his stupidity, actually. Oh, bull, I say, bull. As a result? The team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who bested his big brother. <laughs> I was can lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. <laughs> Couldn't read everything in Monogama voice. Nice. Became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad, he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. Whatever. I'm. Strong. Oh, 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 I mean, <laughs> apparently we all get one. And is still the best. Yeah. <laughs> and had the most feeling. And yet. yet. Oh. 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 No matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just a weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> boop, 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 Again, we see this. Yeah. Boop. He said the same thing already. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Sam Douche. All the kills his own, all the brother. Yep, we know. Well, he kinda didn't. It was an accident. Yeah, it was Daya's own decision to save his brother. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm no, no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. He's dead. All the guilt I've been carrying around, it all would have been for nothing. And still, Mondo, how could you? So, that's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Mondo. <laughs> After I saw that Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with kind of fuzzy uneasiness, and I just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like this before. Orewa. I... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say. But after a while, that fussy uneasiness... 
turned itself into a rock hard lump of anxiety and constipation way down in my stomach. Yeah, indeed. You have you have constipated. Okay. And it was right around then that Jiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I he, he told me a secret. <laughs> Seriously, Jesus. Indeed. Did. <clears throat> Sorry. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? <laughs> yes, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would. Demo. Right. Kawari <laughs> tainda. Huh? No. Fred myself in lies! I'm weak! I want to destroy that version of me forever! Oh, is it something because Mondo was so afraid of being weak that he <laughs> couldn't stand this weak person suddenly being stronger than him? Yeah, <laughs> quite likely, yeah. Is it like that? <laughs> Could easily be. But do you know what? This is taking quite long. A lot longer than I thought. I like, okay, we get the reason and that's it. But yeah. Nope. But this is a whole new story. And sadly, I have to run. But we will continue this in our next episode. And until indeed, then. Indeed. Yeah. Let's make something clear right now, okay? I have far more important stuff to do than just stand around here saying share, like, comment, like, and subscribe. Which is, by the way, totally what you should be doing, okay? Huh? Now that I actually am here, I gotta say, watching these people go all, oh, it's so confusing, I don't know what to do, and all that shit, was, yeah, frustrating, you know, but it was also, like, hella funny. <laughs> I mean, come on, how stupid can these people be, for real? But like I said, I have more important stuff to do, so that's all from me, and thanks, I'll see ya, and bye. Bye-bye.